Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the HESI. We have been solving math problems out of this book here the HESI Admission Assessment Exam Review, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Right now, we are in the process of solving some problems dealing with percentages. Percentage problems, you will find them on page number on page number 30. Please turn to it. Page number 30. On the page number 30, you will find three examples. Those are the three problems we're going to do. Example 1, 2 and 3. Before I get going and before I completely forget it, after having watched these percentage problems from this book, if you feel that you need more practice, if you feel that uh, what they give you in this book is not enough and need some extra practice, there are three more videos that you can watch. Just type in T's math. As you know, the math on the T's and the math on the HESI, they are very comparable. They are, they are very similar to each other. Uh, if you want to get some more practice, you can watch the videos, math videos on T's. There are 80 of them. Just type in T's math, day number 13, 14, or 15, and you will find uh, problems, uh, percent, percentage problems. In addition to that, there are 10 more videos that you can avail yourself to in the, under the series of basic math from day number 31 through 40. Those also deal with percentage problems. The more you practice, of course, the better you will get, the more comfortable you will feel with the, with the nature of the beast. Let's get going. Number one, we're being asked to convert. It says, what is 7 out of 8 expressed as a percentage? 7 out of 8 as a percentage. What is, it says, what is 7 out of 8 expressed as a percent? Let's find out. Okay, 7 out of 8, which of course is the same as 7 over 8. There are two ways you can go about it, and we, I'm going to show you both of the ways. Okay, let's do it both ways here. 7, 8, I hope, I hope you're able to see right away the 7, 8 is nothing more than 6, 8, plus another 8. 6, 8 and an 8 is 7, 8. 6, 8 is very easy. When you reduce the top and the bottom, if you divide top and bottom by 2, it becomes 3 quarters. It becomes 3 quarters. 3 quarters plus an 8. In other words, 6, 8 is 3 quarters. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it the way it is because it gets too messy. When you have 6, 8, when you have 6, 8 and you reduce it, it becomes 3 quarters. 3 quarters, of course, is very easy. 1 quarter is 25%. 2 quarters is 50%, 2 quarters is half, half of anything is 50%, 3 quarters is 75%. So that's very easy, that was the simple part. That part is done. Now we have to figure out what the 8th is in terms of percentage. Let's do it here. An 8th, an 8th, I hope you are able to see, an 8th, I hope you are able to see, is nothing more than half of a quarter. An 8th is just a half of a quarter. For example, for example, if you have a pizza here, let's draw a pizza. Let's cook a pizza. I have a pizza here, and I have I have cut this pizza into four slices. As you can see, each slice represents a quarter of a pizza. If I take one quarter of the pizza, if I take one of those slices and cut it into half again, what I have here is an eighth of a pizza. Half of a quarter, half of a quarter. This is a quarter here. This right here is a quarter. As you can clearly see. Half of a quarter, half of a quarter is an eighth. But we already know, we already know what a quarter is. Quarter expressed as a percentage, quarter expressed as a percentage, one quarter of anything is 25%. So an eighth, an eighth is simply half of 25%. An eighth is simply half of 25%. Or what is half of 24? Half of 24 is exactly 12%. Half of, ex half of 24% would have been exactly 12%. Therefore, half of 25 would have to be 12 and a half. Would have to be 12 and a half percent. Half of 25% is 12 and a half percent. One eighth is 12 and a half percent. So that's it. We have 75% here. An eighth we just found out is 12 and a half. Let's put that here. An eighth we just found out is simply. 12 and a half percent and therefore 6 8 plus an 8 which is 3 quarter plus an 8 is 75 percent plus 12 and a half percent 75 plus 12 75 plus 10 would have been 85 85 and then another two is 87 it's 87 and a half percent 
87 and a half percent. But in, in doing all those things, you must understand that an 8 is simply half of 25 percent. An 8 is simply half of a quarter. And half of 25 percent is 12 and a half. You have to understand that part. Let's do it one more method. Let's do a different method now. Instead of, so instead of approaching in this manner, let's do a different method here. Another way we can look, approach the 7 8 is to understand that 7 8 is simply a 7 8 is simply 8 8 minus an 8. An 8 8 minus 1 8 is 7 8. An 8 8 minus 1 8, of course, would have to be 7 8. An 8 8, 8 8 is a whole. 8 out of 8 is a whole. That's 100%. A whole of something is 100% because 8 divided by 8 is 1. That's uh, 1 pizza. That's 100% of the pizza. 100%. 8, 8, 8, 8 is 100% minus an 8 which we just found out is which we just found out is 12.5% so 7, 8, 7, 8 would have to be 100% minus 12.5% 100% minus 12% would have been 88% but it's not 12% it's 12.5% so it's not going to be 88% it's going to be 87.5% and that's your 7, 8 so you can approach you can approach seven eight as six eight plus an eight, or you can approach seven eight as eight eight minus an eight. Either way, it's the same concept, same logic, same rationale, just a different perspective. Do you understand? Just a different perspective, different vantage point. That's all. Let's do number two. Example number two. Example number two, they're asking us, they're asking us what is 68%, what is 68% of 45? See, this is, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You cannot understand and you cannot master the technique that we're about to learn in doing this kind of problems, the technique that we're about to learn. You cannot expect to master the technique, you cannot expect to become comfortable with it simply by doing one problem. That's just silly. That's just damn silly to assume that you can just figure, pick up on a, on a technique, you can just be, get acquainted with it, you can just feel comfortable with it, just doing by just simply doing one problem. That's not how it works. Which is why it's important to watch these videos. There are 10 of them. That does not necessarily mean that you have to watch all 10 of them because of course they get more and more difficult as you go higher up in the numbers. Even if you watch first 5 from 31 to 35, 31 to 35 should suffice. 31 through 35 should suffice. You don't have to watch all 10 of them. So here's the technique. Okay, here's the technique. What you do here, the key here, the key here, the reason why sometimes people, people have trouble with these kind of questions, the percentage problems, is because they read the problem, what is 68% of 45, and they try to figure out, and they try to figure out the equation for this problem in one shot. Don't ever do that. Don't try to figure out, don't try to come up with the equation in one shot. Translate one word at a time. Translate one word at a time. Learn to translate one word at a time and you will see that the correct equation, whatever it is, will emerge all by itself. You won't have to do anything at all. You won't have to do any thinking at all. The correct equation will emerge automatically, magically. Here's how we do it. What is our unknown? And typically, the tradition dictates, the convention dictates that we represent the unknown with the letter X. That's just a tradition. That's just a convention. That's just a convention. Do you understand? Is, is, are, were, will be. That means equal. That means equal. 68, of course, is just 68. What does the word percent mean? We learned that thing. We learned this last three days. Today is our day number 44. We begin the percentage uh, topic of percentage on day number 41, 42, and 43. I don't have the luxury of keep repeating, keep repeating the same thing over and over again. I take it for granted that you're watching this video in its proper sequence. We learned on day number 41, 42, and 43 that the word percent, the word percent right here, the percent, the word percent literally means what it says. It means, percent means per 100, per 100, that's what the word percent means, per 100 or out of 100. Percent means out of 100, out of 100. So we have 68, now we have to take care of percent. Percent means out of 100, so here we go, out of 100. That's your percent, out of 100. 
What is off mean? Off means multiply. Off means times. Off means times. For example, if someone says what is what is half, if someone asks you, if someone asks you what is half of twelve, well, how would you express this? Half of means times. Half of twelve. Half of twelve, which is same as twelve over one. So you have two on the bottom, you have twelve on the top, you divide top and bottom by two, the two goes away and two, 12 becomes 6. Of course, which we knew it, half of 12 is 6, but this is this is what's going on. Half of means multiply. Off means multiply. So there you go. Off means multiply. And then finally 45. That's it, we're done. That's it. That's your equation right there. I'm gonna erase this part and I'm gonna erase this arrow because I don't want you to get too confused. Off means over over 100, right here, out of 100. That's it, we're done. Don't confuse, okay, just for the record, don't confuse my x. Don't confuse my x with my multiplication sign. This is my multiplication sign. There is my x, the unknown. Okay, let's get going. That's it, we're done. We're, we're talking too much. We're taking too much. We're done. Let's, let's get going. Let's simplify it, shall we? Let's simplify it. We have 100 on the bottom. We have 45 on the top. Why don't we divide top and bottom by 5? 45 has 9 5. 9 5 is a 45. And 100, 10. 10 would have two fives, and then zero has no five. Zero has no five. It comes down. In other words, 100 is made up of 100 is made up of 25. What else can we do here? Why don't we divide top and bottom by two? Let's divide top and bottom by two. So 20 will become 10, and six has three twos, and eight has four twos. It's 34. So what we end up here is x equals 34 times 9 over 10. 34 times 9 over 10. Okay, watch what happens. So now we have to figure out. 34 times 9. 34 times 9, you can actually figure it out, 34 times 9, you can do it out. Or, or you can understand that 34 times 9, whatever it is, would have to be same as 340 minus 34. Why 340 minus 34? Because 340 is 10 times 9. Uh, it's, it's, it's 10 times 34. It's 10 times 34. And if you take 10 times 34, if you have 10 34 and if you subtract 134 from it, what you will end up is 934s. So let's do it. 340 minus 40 would have been exactly 300. 40 minus 34, 40 minus 34 is 6, so it's 306. So that's represent that's your 9 times, that's your 9 times 30. That's your 9 times 30, uh, 9 times 34. So we have 306 on the top, and on the bottom we have 10. That's our x. We're almost done. And 30, 306 divided by 10, you just move the decimal place from here to here, and it becomes 30.6. The answer is 30.6. Before I, before I raise the words, these are simple words, but since I have already on the blackboard, let's, let's find out when we learned this word. What does it mean to suffice? I'm looking at my vocabulary list here, and most likely we did not cover it. Suffice means to, to be sufficient. What I told you is that you don't have to watch all 10 of the videos. It's not here. Let me make a note to, to, to insert it. What I said is that there are 10 videos, you don't have to watch all 10 of them, even if you watch the first 5, 31 through 35, 31 through 35 should suffice. That should be enough. That, that should be sufficient. Convention is just a fancy way of saying tradition. The convention dictates, convention dictates that we represent the unknown with X. If you represent it with Y, I assure you nobody's going to come and arrest you. Do you understand? It's not a big deal. It's just simple to represent, be represented by Y, that's all. Anyway, the unknown is 30.6. 30 Let's do one more. Number three. We're talking too much. Number three. Number three is a damn silly question. I'm going to do it on the side here. It's just a ridiculous question. They're asking you what is 68%. They're asking you 18 is 50% of what? Number three. Example number three. 18 is 50% of what? Well, 50%. 50% of course is half. So essentially what they're asking you is 18 is half of what? 18 is half of 18 is half of 18 times 2. Obviously, which is 36. 18 is half of what? 18 is half of 36. As I said, that was a damn silly question. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.